hello and welcome back to my channel you beautiful beautiful people of youtube glad to be back and today i have got a review for you and i'm reviewing the thin audio t2 these are a dual driver iem that retails for about 50 dollars and this is more of a more of a response video than a re than a review and the reason for that is because i saw the review of the tin tin audio t2 by z reviews and the guy calls himself geo spinter the he is the biggest hi-fi based channel on youtube specializing in personal audio headphone headphone amps dax etc now i don't do this kind of thing very often the last time i did was about more than a year ago and that was also about another i am um, called the kz zs5 and Someone did a review of that that pissed me off and I had to make a review of my own to kind of clear the air. And what's going to happen is that I'm going to do, do the Tin Audio T2's review in my own format and in my conclusion I will address the Z's review of it. And before we get into it, I want to clarify... I want to clarify a few things. Number one, I have absolutely nothing at all against Z. Z is a great guy, a very likable person. I like him and he deserves all the credit in the world for popularizing personal hi-fi in recent years. I think all of it is because of him. And I really respect him too. Number two... I do not have any affiliations to any brand or person in the industry. I do not earn money from YouTube either. All of my gear is purchased with my own money, the gear that I own. Number three is that I understand that Zeos is loved immensely by everybody. So whatever criticism and attacks you have against me as Zeus's follower. Number one, I welcome them. Number two, I don't care about them. That is it. I, I thought about this before making this video that if, it, if this video is even remotely popular, some bad stuff is gonna happen. But, you know, I decided to do this video anyway. Now, let's begin the review. And in my standard format, let's talk about the build first. And I don't know if you guys can see, but these are stainless steel. These are some of the best built items around $50 that I have seen. And not even just $50. Many, many times the price I have not seen. Even around $250, I have not seen items that are built as well not a lot of them and it comes with a bunch of tips but these memory foam blue tips that it comes with these are the best tips the, when you put silicone tips on it t2 it the sound kind of gets a little bit sibilant and harsh and foam tips are the best so i don't recommend putting a silicon tip on it and by the way the wire is um, although it is not that high quality excuse me I, <laughs> I, I kind of had a little bit of cold going on this morning but I decided to make this review anyway the wire looks really nice it flows it, it, is, it does not have any kinks in it but it is not a very very high quality wire it can break 
and this thing came loose I can show you guys this connector came loose like that so it it can it is not bulletproof that is what I'm saying but it is very good going forward the fit and comfort of these is an enigma everybody likes to wear them differently what i like to do is i put these ear hooks on them and they are the rubber ear hooks that came with um, final audio e3000 and i the final audio e3000 does not need them with my ears but i put them on there and that greatly improved the stability and then just i i just wrap them over the ear style and i don't change the orientations of the connection some people like to do left to right and right to left and they will wear them straight down like that i don't do that i go over the ear how much power do you need to drive them not a lot but a little bit it is not as sensitive as the Andromeda. It definitely needs a little bit of power to drive them. Phones will do fine. What's really more important than the um, than having a lot of power? What, what's really more important here is having a clean source of power. Now, those are the things that are not sound related that I just talked about. Now let's talk about the sound. And the let me break it down with bass, mid range and treble. Bass is the weakest point in this I am. Um, there's no denying it. I do not like the quantity of the bass in this I am. Um. I need a little bit more. Not a lot. Not a lot. Maybe about 20 to 25 percent more but this is not a huge problem because it has an overall tuning that makes it so that having good really a good quantity of bass is not that important because the tuning it has is the kind of tuning that some audiophile headsets are known headphones are known for hd 600 um ksc 75 though not really an audio file um sennheiser hd 800 it does have a quite a bit of bass but that is what i mean like if you are if you tried a lot of headphones you know what i'm talking about that some headphones they just have great mid-range great treble and not a lot of bass and they are meant to be used with certain genres like um jazz let's say or uh, anything not bass heavy like edm trap hip-hop so i can forgive the lack of quantity of the bass because the overall tuning is oriented towards a certain style and some people do the blue tack mod which they cover this went and i don't recommend doing that that just messes up the sound in my opinion not worth it and i'll explain later why let's talk about the mid-range just smooth clear well-timed well measuring mid-range i have zero complaints about the mid-range it is it just flows that is what i want to say about it it, it the mid-range just flows there is uh, no inappropriation no offense uh, uh, no offense everywhere anywhere it's, it's just right uh, when when something is just right there is no words for me to describe it it's just pleasure inducing that is what it is um, i'm happy i'm very very happy with the mid-range the let's talk about the treble now in no way the treble is harsh, sibilant, grainy. None of the problem that, problems that I see with the cheap sets. However, on some particular tracks, 
for example the sun song by dave grusin or the whirlwind storm from the witcher soundtrack on the on tracks like that that do have an extra bit of trouble energy it gets a little peaky it gets it shows a little bit of extra energy and more 90 90% of the time it's fine just on some of those tracks it is a problem well that was a guest appearance by a uh, fly in my video <laughs> so hilarious anyway um let's talk about the biggest strength of this headphone which is sound stage and imaging throughout my career of this being a hi-fi reporter of some sort there are i can count on my fingers how many iams out the exist which are in production right now that are not a custom fit that can deliver the kind of sound stage that this $50 iam can deliver there are two kind of sound stages in iams there will be a sound stage that could be a little bit wider and it will give you a perception of being wide but it you can kind of feel that it is still in your head and it's not going very far out from your head and then there is the second kind of sound stage where it will be far out it will actually feel like the sounds are coming from outside of your head from a pretty good distance and the biggest challenge is maintaining the imaging across and the positional accuracy when you have a wide sound stage that that is the knockout combo when you can manage the imaging and have a wide sound stage this iam does that and i'll tell you if you own this iam there is a clip on youtube that i'll link in the description and it is called kong versus giant skid and this is a fight scene between a giant ape and a giant squid and in the beginning of that video there is something happening which is a giant ape walking into a giant gorilla walking into the screen and you cannot see him yet he's not on the screen but you can hear him on the right side and this headphone kind of surprised me by how far it could tell me that sound was coming from it was really far and that is why the sound stage is unmatched on this iam very very few iams can do this without a doubt now the moving on to the sound signature without a single doubt in my mind the sound stage of this iam is bright there is no getting around to it you can say neutral if you want to say neutral and i'll i'll say all right but it is definitely bright and it is not the painful kind of bright it is not a bad bad thing when e reviewers are making videos there are certain words that people just understand them differently or in a wrong way and if i end up saying that it is a bright set excuse me a lot of people think that you have to write this thing off just because it is bright that is not the case it is a very enjoyable kind of bright now let's talk about the conclusion where i will discuss g's review as well let's take a moment here now z did a review 
Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. Now Z did a review of this IEM and he basically declared this $50 IEM to be the second coming of Jesus. He said that there is nothing better until $250, something to that effect. And he said that there is nothing better in the range and above the range that it retails at. Now here's the thing. This has a wide sound stage and it has the quality of the sound stage that G's personally he likes that. Now just because you like something personally does not mean that it is objectively the best freaking thing out there. That is my problem. And I don't think G Z tries to lie to you guys. I think Z is always honest. But the problem is that he tries to hype the good products to drive up the sales and he hypes them up in an unnatural way. He is the kind of person, no. Okay, let's throw this freaking script away. Now, let me talk to, the, talk to you the way I want to talk to you. He is the, we all have that one bro out there that likes to exaggerate every single story. Even if the story is already epic, we will like to take the story and add on detail to take it to new levels. Now, G Z is that bro, you know. Z is the kind of bro, if you're bro, just joined a mile high club on a flight with his girlfriend, then that is already an epic epic story in itself but here's how your bro will tell you that one bro you got you guys got he will say uh your bro you know there was a totally stranger girl that came and sat next to me and she was so turned on by my look she invited me to the bathroom and you know what there was a hot flight attendant that came by and she was so, so turned on by my good looks that she joined us for a threesome and you know what the pilot came by and gave me a high five while i was still in the threesome and you know what when i came out the whole plane was cheering me on and when we landed the air airline gave me ten thousand free flyer miles how epic is that? You don't need to do that. Just, you know, the original story was epic enough. And this is a very good IEM. But just hyping it up so that your followers will buy it. You will get money from the links. And more people will believe you, more newbies that do not do not know what good sound is or what is their personal preference is wrong. There are two items I have right here that are as good. Final Audio E3000, a $55 item that is as good as T2, but just has a wide, I mean a warm sound signature. TRN V81, you put the Kony foam ear tips on them, which will drive the total price up to $45, I should say. Excuse me. Are we sounding IEM that are as good as the T2? And although I will admit that none of these have as wide as a sound stage. The sound stage on these are not bad. <coughs> Excuse me, I 
I know that that stuff is brutal for the people listening. So, but I am sick. Please excuse me. Uh, so where was I? Yeah, the T R N V A D is a V sounding I M. That is as good as T two as well. Man, you put Deconi ear tips on him. So what I am saying is that you might like the V A D, you might like the three thousand over the T two. But when your Lord and Savior Zeus comes out and says T2, and this is the title of the video, T2 is the only funking I am you will ever need. And he wanted to use the F word, but you cannot put that in the title. So, yeah, you, this is T2 is not the only I am you will ever need, not even at the price range. You might like VAD, you might like E3000, and those are the only ones that, that, that I know of. There are some new ones coming out as well. So, Zeus, my message to you, though it is more highly l unlikely that you will watch this video and stick to the end. My message to you is just stop. Stop overhyping the good products. You do not need to do that. I love you to death. You deserve all the credit in the world. But you do need to tone down the drama a little bit now. You're popular enough that you don't need the drama. I know the drama is just a part of your personality, but um, yeah, calm down, you know a lot and if you guys made it this far please 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 subscribe to my channel and you guys have a great weekend see ya and love ya